This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer. The one, the only, a father relaxing after a big meal on the recliner. Wow! You know, I get a lot of wise guys, like, you know, these haters. You know, they keep calling me the FOMO father. They keep saying to me, you know, you're down all this money. <laughs> and they keep saying to me, what I sell if AMC went back up, let's say, to 53. Okay, so let's answer that question. Okay, why would I sell at my break-even point? Like, why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense, right? Okay, so obviously the answer to that is no. Okay, the second question I get is what I sell if AMC goes to 72 again. It's all-time high. And the answer to that is no. Okay, because, see, let me try to make all of you understand something, and I don't know if I've been clear I am in this for the Moaz. That's it. I'm in this for life-changing wealth. Do you really think that I am putting myself through all this stress to make a couple of bucks? Like, like, what do you think? You think I'm putting myself through all of this to make whatever? Let's see. What would I make? Uh, what would I make? Like 50 grand or something? If, you know, whatever case may be, if it went to 72, I'm not in this for 40 or 50 grand. I'm in this for like 40 to 50 million. <laughs> I need this for 40 to 50,000. So I'm going to have the laugh, laugh, the last, last laugh at a lot of these haters. I really am, you know, because let, let them all make fun of me now. Let them call me whatever they want. You don't understand. I have lasting holding power. I'll keep holding this, baby. And I do add to my position as when I can. Okay. But you know, I have the father has to support his family. Okay. I understand you're like, but you buy so much food. You buy so much food. Because I want to enjoy life. See, you want to know what it is. If I wasn't, there is a method to my madness. Let me explain to you what it is. Because I know a lot of people would say, why not like not buy all that food, right? And keep buying AMC. But if I did that, I probably wouldn't hold. I would tell you the truth. Because you know what it is? If I was living miserable every day of my life and I was like starving and I was struggling and, and I'm looking at my account and it's got like all this money in it. Now it's going to be very hard for me to hold. Because I don't want my children to struggle. I don't want my wife to struggle. I don't want my mother to struggle. I don't want to struggle. I don't even want my dogs to struggle. So part of my lifestyle of eating very well and my family eating very well and us enjoying life is what gives me the power to hold. Because I figure to myself, like, what else do I need? I got a beautiful house. I got a beautiful family. We're eating great like kings and queens, you know, princes and princesses, right? And it's like, this. what else do you really need in life? I don't think you need anything else. Okay, you know, some apes break my balls. I have a minivan. But I'm a family man now. You know what I'm saying? I used to have the, I had the Mercedes Benz AMG package, baby. The, I had the, it was, it was beautiful, the car I had. You had to see when I was single. I had a lot of great cars. I had the Chrysler 300, you know, that was totally like macked out. I had a lot of great cars in my life. I had the, uh, the Tahoe, the LT, macked out. Okay, but you know, you get to a point where you have a family, and you get a minivan, you know, and, but you make fun of the minivan. The minivan's got two TVs, two uh, TVs in it. The kids play all their games. They have, uh, they love that minivan. It's a to it's a fa it's a family machine. So, but you know, after the Boaz, I might see myself getting a nice luxury car again, just for myself, you know, and still have the the minivan. I'll get a brand new minivan for the family, but we'll, but I definitely will uh, get myself a little toy. Um, but that's it. So I just wanted to answer the question to all the haters. No, I will not sell at 53. I will not sell at 72. I'm in this for the Moaz, baby. And, and also GameStop, the same thing. I'm in it for the Moaz. I'm not going to sell GameStop if it goes to 200. Some people say that. They're like, would you buy it at 165? You follow, sell it at 200. No, no. GameStop is going up big. It's going to make history. And AMC is going to go up big too. So like I said, one Moaz is great, but two Moazes makes um, out of sight makes things go right not a financial advisor i don't give financial advice i'm an entertainer but i've been this for the big bucks baby the big dream